Today, I want to talk to you about the most popular and effective method of high volume disinfection, electrostatic disinfection. Electrostatic disinfectant sprayers apply an electric charge to a disinfectant chemical. The charge allows the disinfectant droplets to evenly and completely coat surfaces and objects. As with any piece of janitorial equipment, there are some things you should know in order to achieve the best disinfection possible. It is very important to make sure that the disinfectant chemical you choose to use with your sprayer is approved by the EPA and can be applied with an electrostatic sprayer. But having a disinfectant that's compatible with your sprayer is only one part of achieving the most effective disinfection possible. There are three practices we recommend when using an electrostatic disinfection in your facility. The first practice we recommend is balancing the charge, particle size, and sprayer pressure. If your electrostatic sprayer isn't fully wrapping surfaces or objects with disinfectant, then there's a risk of dwell time not being met. To ensure that surfaces are being fully covered with enough disinfectant to meet your required dwell time, your janitorial team might need to take a few extra steps. Adjusting the charge, particle size, and pressure of an electrostatic sprayer will allow the disinfectant to completely and evenly coat all sides of a surface. The electrostatic sprayer charges the disinfectant liquid to create an attraction between the disinfectant droplets and surfaces being sprayed. If the droplets aren't charged enough, the surfaces being sprayed won't be fully covered. This is because the disinfectant will not be attracted to the surface and won't cover all sides of a surface. While there is no true way to know if a disinfectant is charged enough, you can conduct a tape test. To conduct a tape test, you should place a strip of tape on the back of a surface or an object when you spray. When you spray the surface or an object being tested, you can check to see if the tape is wet with the disinfectant chemicals. In the event that your sprayer doesn't seem to be fully wrap a surface, you may need to adjust the charge on the sprayer. Specific instructions on adjusting the charge of your sprayer will be in your manufacturer's instructions. The size of disinfectant droplets will affect how far they're able to travel. Droplets that are too large will fall out of the air before reaching the surface, while droplets that are too small will linger in the air after spraying. While the droplet size is standard on most machines, you might be able to adjust the size of the droplets on some electrostatic sprayers. The pressure of an electrostatic sprayer refers to the force that the disinfectant is sprayed with. A spray with consistent spraying pressure will make sure that the droplets reach the surface when sprayed from a distance. Low pressure can be cause a product to build up in the nozzle. If you notice the electrostatic sprayer is spraying with low pressure than usual, the nozzle may need to be cleaned and to remove buildup. To avoid low pressure due to buildup, your cleaning staff should remove any excess chemicals from the sprayer nozzle after each use. The sprayer nozzle should be rinsed periodically and soaked in hot soapy water to remove any blockages. The second practice we suggest is checking your disinfectant for sufficient charge. As mentioned, electrostatic technology will cover an entire surface with disinfectant by spraying charged liquid onto surfaces that have an opposite charge. If the disinfectant droplets do not receive an adequate charge from the spraying device, then there are two risks that you will face. The first risk is that your surface may not be fully covered with disinfectant. Without proper charge, the disinfectant will not be attracted to the entire surface. Disinfectant that doesn't fully cover a surface will not fully kill germs that are present. Germs that are left behind on the surface will lead to increased germ spread, risk of illness, and potential outbreaks in your facility. The second risk of having an inadequate charged disinfectant is that the disinfectant may linger in the air. Disinfectant which is not adequately charged can linger in the air and be inhaled by the occupants. If the people in your facility happen to inhale disinfectant chemicals, there could be effects like dizziness or irritation of the nose, throat, and eyes. There's no true way to test the charge of a disinfectant, but you can use the same tape test that we mentioned before to check the coverage of your disinfectant. 
The final practice we recommend when using an electrostatic sprayer is providing adequate ventilation during use. Proper ventilation when using an electrostatic sprayer is very important. If disinfectant is inhaled, it can have health effects like the ones we just mentioned. If your electrostatic sprayer is used properly and function correctly, there shouldn't be any chemicals left behind in the air. But to make sure that your staff and guests are properly protected, ventilation can filter out any chemicals that may have been released into the air while using an electrostatic sprayer. If the areas are being disinfected not well ventilated, there's a chance your chemicals may be left in the air for a longer amount of time to be inhaled by anyone who enters that area. Even though most electrostatic sprayers say that rooms can be entered directly after spraying, we recommend you leaving the area closed for about an hour to allow any remaining airborne particles to settle out of the air. If you're interested in purchasing a high volume electrostatic disinfectant sprayer or learning more about a sprayer for disinfection, contact the specialist today to discuss the disinfecting needs of your facility.